homestead. If somebody's not in condition, I'm not going to take them. It don't matter what the show is for. If they're not in condition, I'm not going to take them. Why put the rabbit through that if they're not ready? You know, uh, the stress of going to a rabbit show can be hard on a rabbit. Just like the stress of an axe head can be hard on that rooster's head. If it keeps interrupting my video. But, but that, uh, anyway, how do I decide? I don't know. One of the things we do is we put them on the scale. Yep. Let's see. Nine pounds? Or, I'm sorry, eight pounds. Hey, you gained an ounce since a while ago. No, eight pounds, eight ounces. Okay, now, how? why is that important? Well, one thing, it's important because the last time that we weighed her, she weighed eight pounds, two ounces. So that tells us that she's gaining, which is always a good thing. But if the show is tomorrow, guess what? We use that weight to decide what class. What class is she going to show in? Well, let's see. She's about five months old, and she weighs less than nine pounds. So that means that she can show as a junior. So she'll be showing as a junior doe. Okay. Were she over nine pounds, even though she's only five months old? Okay. Anyway, um, she's going to show as a junior. Now, if she hits nine pounds, she's not going to do it before tomorrow. Okay. But she could do it before Easter weekend when we're going to be showing at Jonesboro. So we have to keep a close watch on her weight, okay? Because even though she's only five months old, if she hits nine pounds and above, even though she's still age-wise a junior, she has to be bumped up into the higher category. She'll, then, she will then show as an intermediate or a 6-8 six, six, class. And so we'll have to watch that. Now, Bianca, take that fur, stroke it backwards, see how that fur moves back into position. She's got a few, she's got a few and has had a few that's been trying to blow out, but she didn't go into a full blown molt, or at least she hasn't yet. If she's going to, I hope she hurries up and does it so she can hopefully have most of it through before Jonesboro. Before Jonesboro, definitely. Okay, now, you get them on the table, check those ears. If the judge sees any crusties down there that might be ear mites, he's going to hand the rabbit back to you and say, I'm sorry, I can't, we can't, this rabbit's a disqualification. Uh, that's, if your rabbit's got ear mites, treat that a week ahead of time. You know, you should be looking at your rabbit periodically anyway. Okay, now, I'm going to move the scale. We're through with the scale right here. Stay up there, Bianca. I know you'll jump down. I've seen it happen. Okay. Good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna roll her over. Oh, quit shaking. Yeah, quit shaking. Yeah. Here, we're gonna roll her over. See, we've done it before. See, all her limbs are nice and straight with her body and with each other. She's okay. There's no. We look for any bad spots. We're looking to make sure she doesn't have any broken toenails. Broken toenail may be a disqualification today, but if the toenail grows back, you can still show that it's not a permanent disqualification. Okay? A permanent disqualification would be, say, if you had a big old white spot right in her fur right there, or a black spot or anything else. Uh, that's a permanent disqualification, usually. Now, sometimes when they molt, a, 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 an odd spot will go away like that. Uh, that's what happened to Romeo. He had a spot on the side of his head when we got him. First time he molted, it went away. Haven't seen it since, so. Pull, it, pull the lips up, check the teeth. They're nice and aligned, no teeth problems. Okay, you wanna make sure their nose, it can be, it can be wet, but if it's wet, you want it to be clear, okay? You don't want, you don't want any green mucusy stuff, any white mucusy stuff, yellow mucusy stuff. If you got any of that, put that put that rabbit back in the cage. You can take, you can either and and depending on how you deal with sickness in your rabbitry, there's different steps to take. But I'm not here to I'm not here to talk about those today.
trim the toenails. I recently, recently we went to a show, and the judge was actually, uh, she was actually giving comments on a broken red doe that was competing against grubs, and she actually went so far to say about that rabbit, she said, she said she needs her toenails trimmed before they all start, before they all start cracking and breaking off and bleeding. And that was actually in her comments, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I would crawl under the table if somebody said that about my rabbit. I mean, uh, trim their toenails. The same clipper you can clip your dog's toenails with, you can clip a rabbit's toenails with. Or even regular okay. toenail clippers. That's what I use. The tail. Usually, if the tail's nice and straight the last time you check, it should be straight this time. But you just never know if they, if they, youngsters. She's by herself, but now if you've got youngsters and they're in a cage together with other rabbits, sometimes they can have accidents and break tails. That's how toenails get broken. They get bite marks on their nose. Okay, George. But anyway, look at them toenails. Okay. Bianca's okay. Bianca's okay now, but she's going to need her toenails tri uh, trimmed again before the show of the the Neyarb show, the Northeast Arkansas Rabbit Breeder show. Eyes are clear and bright. Prefer not to have any leakage. Sometimes the tear ducts get clogged and their tears will drain out into their fur right here around their eyes. Uh, I'm not really certain if that's a disqualification or not. Sorry, sweetie. But it's definitely embarrassing to put a rabbit on the table like that. Now, if you don't have any choice, you know, you're really depending on that rabbit, and it's great otherwise. I don't know if the judge would just keep DQ it automatically or not. I guess it would probably be the judge's call. That's just something I've not ran into. Uh, we've had a couple of rabbits, and we've treated for the for the little uh, weepy, weepy eye. It's uh, it, it stuff. It, it stops up their tear duct, and instead of the tears when they their, their natural tearing action, instead of draining through that little tube and down into their back of the throat or the sinuses, it actually will drain out here onto the fur and make a big stained, sticky, sticky looking spot right there in front of the eye and you don't want that, okay? Um, but Bianca, otherwise, she is just gorgeous and I believe she's ready to go to the show, so we're going to put her on the list to show. What do you think, sweetie? You want to stretch your stuff? Hmm? You want to stretch your stuff? I think I think that's rabbit for sure. Okay. So back in she goes. Well, that's what I do. I'm looking them over. Now, if they're in a real bad molt and you see little wispies of fur blowing out everywhere, you know, you can work that. And you can get a lot of that out. The question is, is what's the coat condition going to be once you get all that worked out? Okay. If they blow a whole lot of it at once, and you get all that worked out, there's not really a whole lot of coat texture or coat condition left there because there's no coat left. You know, if they blow it out too fast, they're going to blow it out faster than it grows back in. And, uh, you know, uh, in which case, you know, pulling it out will help, help them and make them feel better, but it's not going to make them look any better. It's not going to get them any more ready for Now, before we, uh, before we put them on a show table, we wet our hands with a spray bottle and rub them together, get them a little sticky, and rub our sticky hands all over the rabbit's, all over the rabbit's uh, body. And those loose spurs, any of those little loose, loose spurs will stick to your hand. And then you can just go like that and roll it up and sling it away, and it's all good. Okay? Now, that's what we do. Now, if you've got several rabbits that you are considering for the show, I guess the first thing you would do is decide how many rabbits, how many slots do you have open for tomorrow's show? How many slots do I have open? How many rabbits can I take? Okay, if it's four, six, ten, start off with those spots and then you start looking at your rabbits that are part of your show team, look them over, see which ones can fit. If you've got some that aren't ready, leave them at home. Take the ones you can. So if you've got, so if you've got ten, if you have the ability to take 10 to the next show that's coming up this weekend, but you only come across six rabbits that are ready to show and in condition and looking their best, 
just take those six, leave the other four at home, okay? Uh, you're gonna do better taking your best six than you are by taking the extra four and just have them place low, you know? That's not gonna help you. Uh, and uh, that, I mean, basically, I mean, it's, it's not rocket science, okay? If you know, if, if you're interested in showing a rabbit, you should know by now, most of you, I would think, what a good rabbit in condition looks like. And that's what you're looking for, okay? Bianca, as far as tomorrow's show is concerned, she is gorgeous. I just, I can't see her looking any better. But Easter weekend is still a little while. We've still got 10 days. And she could go into an awful molt and blow out half of her fur and something could happen and we have to leave her at home. That's why the show, most shows require you to have your early entries in. Uh, in this case, <clears throat> the show is Friday night and Saturday. You have to have your early entries in by 11 or by midnight, I think it is, the Tuesday before the show. So you've got three or four, what is that, five, four or five days, whatever that is, uh, before the show, you got to make your decision, okay? Now, if somebody goes into a, goes into a mold or something happens in that five days, you can still scratch them. But, uh, that's, that's what we do, basically what you saw. Uh, look them over. Your eyes are your best tool. Uh, look them over. If there's anything wrong, if you can't correct it in a couple days time, then you pretty much leave them off the list. Okay? Okay, take Sally for instance. See this? See all this nasty stuff? Don't ask me where this came from because She's not living next door to a buck, okay? Take her, Sally. See all this hair blowing out? This is what I'm talking about, okay? Sally's in a mold. See all that fur? This is one you want to leave at home. See all this? This can be cleaned up. This can be cleaned up, but it takes time. You're not going to do this in a day or two, okay? It takes a while to clean that up. But basically, basically, when you start trying to remove these stains, you're doing it a shade at a time. Every time you clean her, you're, you're just removing a shade of that stain. And you're trying to get her as white as you possibly can. See all that? That can be cleaned up. But see, this is molting out. You just let it molt out, and a lot of times the dirty fur is what's going to come out. Okay? So after that's all said and done, you know, I wonder if those spots... There ain't one of them little bucks in there spraying already. Cause surely she didn't pee up on her on top of her own back like that. You see, she's being awful nice. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. This, Sally, let me show you. Let me show this. Sit still. It's still, we're just going to take a look at you. Okay, now she's leaning on a little bit, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, here. I don't know where straight with the camera. Okay. Come on, Sally. We're just taking a big look at you. Here, quit leaning. Quit leaning, lazy bones. Sit up straight. There. There, look at that. Now, isn't she gorgeous? She's a gorgeous bunny. Okay? But... You're not going to win any prizes. All this is nasty. Trust me, the first time I showed a white New Zealand rabbit, it was going up against rabbits that looked like that looked like snow. I'm talking they were spotlessly white. They looked like, well, they looked like somebody got them wet and then shook a bunch of talcum powder all over them, what they looked like. That's how glistening white they were. They were just gorgeous. And I took a rabbit in and had, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, you can work and you can work and you can work and get a lot of that out. But when they go into a molt, a couple things you can do is you want to give them protein. That further growing back in is pretty much 100% protein. So 
we'll give them something with plenty of protein. Either give them a protein supplement like calf manna, uh, a little bit of black oil sun. I love black oil sunflower seeds for everything. And it's got, and the, and the oil in those sunflower seeds actually helps uh, the coat, soften the coat. Just right here, you'll notice, you, you'll feel that, and it's real rough. And the reason for that is, is it's dying. That fur is dying, and it's coming out. And it'll get softer as she goes, and as she grows new. And uh, you give her a little bit of supplement or something. Uh, but if you feed a good quality feed, a supplement's not necessary. It just usually means it'll take her longer to uh, molt and grow everything back in. Right, sugars? While I've got you here, I'm not really doing this for the sake of the camera. And I'm holding on to Sally's scruff here to protect me because she has been known to bite. And I, I wouldn't want to put her through that, having to, having to taste me, you know. What? My kids? Well, it's like I told you, with the big, with the big bunnies, I can't hardly tell. There's just so much room in there for them to hide, and my hands aren't big enough. I think, I think she, I think she's pregnant, but then again, I thought she was pregnant numerous times in the past, and I'm not going to do that. She, she will bite me on the side. I so just wanted to show you a little bit of what we look at, what we go over. I hope the wind hasn't been too bad in the camera microphone. Uh, if it is, you probably won't see this video anyway. Uh, but uh, just going to show you a few things that we look for and what we go over when we're deciding who's going to go to the show. So, with that, I guess we'll call it, call it quits. Y'all have a great day.